What's up YouTube? Welcome back. Today we're going to continue on the bumper build for the F-150. I did a couple things off camera. I just, all I did was temporarily put the grill back on, put the, uh, the headlight shrouds back on, and they're just temporarily clipped in there. Just got two bolts holding the grill on right there. And the reason I put these back on is because we're going to need to get measurement from these bolt holes the top edge of these the grill and the headlight shroud plastic whatever you want to call it so that we know we can get our dimensions on our new bumper i've already done a little bit of measuring from here to here i think it's like about four inches or so and then we got from here to here and then from here to the bottom of where our plates that we built that are going to go that are going to sit on top of this frame horns, mounting points, uh, I gotta build these plates, and then these plates are gonna connect to the other parts of the bumper, come down, come across, and then we're gonna have a part that comes down here and comes across. It's kinda hard to explain. I don't have like software or anything special that I can draw this up on. I just have to like create it off the top of my head, so. I've already measured out square right here. This is about the total width and height of that plate. We're gonna get these measurements. I'm gonna draw the part and then we're gonna cut the part out and see how it fits on the truck. So we got our first plate cut. It took it a little bit longer than I thought it would because it's the first time I've cut anything in a while. Cut aluminum at work a lot because I build airplanes, but uh, cutting steel, I haven't done that since uh, for a while. So I was getting used to using the grinder again with the cutting wheel. I need to get a plasma cutter because radius is really hard to do with just a cutting wheel. And not easy. I got it clamped up here. This is how it's gonna sit on here. We're gonna have two of them. I'm gonna get my holes drilled for my bolt holes so that we, we can move it and adjust it where we need it. So I got my plate clamped to my voice. Don't make fun of my vice, it's for small people. <laughs> not really, it's just really tiny. I need to get a real one, like a real big one. This thing is tiny, look, it's the size of my hand. Anyways, it works, so. I'm gonna go ahead and drill these holes. I think this should be big enough. drilled and it fits on there like a glove 
Go ahead and bolts on there temporarily. There you go. Got this one on already. I wish I could get a better view. The garage is too small. There we go, we got our plates done. So the next part is we're gonna make our piece, figure out how we're gonna connect those two together. We might connect those two and then start building off of there and there. And we'll just figure out what we're gonna do. I don't really know yet. It's just kind of, it's like uh, freehanding, I guess. Freehand, freehand building a bumper. So right now I'm working on building my piece that's gonna connect our two plates. And the cool thing is, is I can use some of the scrap from the plates that we cut already. There's gonna be a piece that comes down diagonal here, and then there'll be a piece that attaches to it right here, and it goes straight across. Finally got some of our tack welding done. Uh, we got two tack welds. We've got this plate welded to that plate. And this one welded to that. And now I'm making a piece that's gonna go from right here all the way across to over there. It will be contoured with the grill. And the way I got that is I seen this plastic trim piece was on top of the bumper. It was actually right here. And it's about the width of the grill. So I measured the distance between our two metal plates over there, the distance from that plate to that plate. And then we used the contour of this plastic piece and we got our contour. My first line, that's just the width of this piece, but really it's gonna be twice as wide because that's how wide my plates are on the sides. So we gotta cut this piece out and then that's gonna be welded in between those two and that's gonna connect that plate and that plate. So gotta cut these out and keep going. So here it is, got the middle piece cut. That was definitely the longest cut that we've made and I need a new cutting wheel. That one's getting pretty small. So now we're gonna fit it up there. I haven't even tried to fit it up there yet. I'm about to grab it and take it over here. We'll see how it fits. Moment of truth. Ooh, that's pretty, pretty close. Let's see, it's be a little short. That's gonna be the middle piece that connects those two. Gotta figure out how I'm going to tack it. I think we're gonna make parts that come off of this edge that come up and support underneath here. Be like, sort of like a triangle piece that comes out and comes back to here. So we'll have this whole edge welded to this piece and then we'll have a piece welded here and a piece welded across the bottom. So it's gonna have support here and support here. And then off of the face of this, there's gonna be a whole big piece that comes across here. There it is. And I'm gonna figure out how to tack it up there. Two tacks there, two tacks here. You can see that we got the top of the center done. We're probably about 5% done. 
<laughs> this is gonna take a lot longer than I want it to. So therefore, I'm probably gonna post a video maybe once a week working on this. Uh, maybe every other day, but today, the only thing I got done, well, I started, I started probably around like 12 o'clock or one o'clock. I think it's like seven or eight now, but all I did today working for the last eight hours. So I got those plates cut out, the holes drilled. We got these plates cut and then we got our center plate cut. We're not even close to done yet, so. But I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Hit that like button and subscribe and make sure you're back for the next video. Thanks for watching, peace.